it's your girl from the show and it is freedom friday yes it is freedom friday it is one of my most favorite days of the week it's all about freedom free your mind and the rest will follow yes 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 we've had an incredible week it's our first week back and we are moving we are changing we are growing we are developing each one of us together as a tribe as a community as a movement we are moving 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 and growing so i just want to welcome you those of you who are on instagram those of you on facebook those of you who are on youtube i just want to welcome you this morning welcome 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 yes it's freedom friday yes 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 so guys we've looked at many things all week let me just do a quick recap of what we have learned this week on ooh, on monday we were talking about it was our first day back and we were talking about resilience and being resilient and what that means to us and how that helps us to move forward um for those who missed it go back to monday's recording go back to it it's on youtube on my page at yvonne michelle tv always remember michelle has one l yeah and so so go on if you miss Monday, Tuesday, it was about your thoughts that become words, words become actions, and actions determine your results and your outcomes. Yes, they do. So we were looking at that. We were looking at the mind. We were looking at the mouth, the power of the mouth and what we say and how it has an impact. And we have to be really mindful of the things that come out of our mouth because that's the thought manifested, manif manifested, yeah. That's, I was going to say manifestations. That doesn't make sense. Manifesting, right? That's your thoughts manifested. So your thoughts manifest into words. Your words then will determine your action. Your action will determine uh, your outcomes. Uh, and if you're not getting the outcomes you want, you've got to go back. You've got to go back to the beginning and you have to check your mindset. You've got to check what you're saying. And sometimes your mind, your, your mind is saying, one thing, but your mouth is, your mouth is, is, is directing you one way, but your mouth is, is saying another. So we have to check our mouth. Wednesday, it was like, it was behold, behold, remember the word behold, old things have passed away, behold, all things are new. So we were looking at that word behold in terms of renewing this, renewing this, renewing this, and getting the right words forward. So we were looking at getting rid of the old shit, let the old shit go. That's what I said. And Thursday, yesterday was all about reinventing yourself and giving yourself a thousand second chances. You can give yourself a thousand second chances because you are you and it's your life. And you've got to love yourself enough. So today is Freedom Friday. Today is about standing in your power. Standing in your power. Treating yourself right. I've got my cup of tea. Have you got yours? Yes. So I wanted to talk to you today about standing in your power. Now, as we're moving forward and as we're growing and as we're learning, as we're learning some tools, techniques, strategies to move forward, standing in your power, you have to, when I say stand in your power, I'm talking about once you've reinvented yourself, it's actually getting to like yourself, actually getting to know yourself, like who you are, like what you stand for, like who you're becoming, you know, because sometimes we, we, we are actually reinventing ourselves, we're becoming something new. And then when you become something new, you can't take for granted that you know it. You can't take it for granted that everything is going to be well. You have to really start looking within yourself and treating yourself the way in which you would treat that person that you may look up to. That treat yourself the way uh, as you would treat a person that, that, that you are fond of. Because many times, when, we, when many times, what happens we don't we don't like ourselves even and this is what standing in your power is like it's identifying who you are what you are what your power is and actually accepting it and liking it for who you are stand in your power ladies i know there may be men listening and men you are kings stand in your kingdom stand in your kingship stand in who you are ladies arise queens arise you are queens and queens we, we behave a certain way. We treat ourselves a certain way. One of the things, I'm going to say this. As you know, I've been away. 
I've been away. Uh, I've been um, having a, a, a few days immersion in in, in coaching and, and and you know just reconnecting with my friend and mentor. She's both, and we've had a lovely time. But one of the things, you know, every morning I wake up and they're like, you know, did you sleep well? And I'm like, yeah, I didn't want to get up. I didn't want to get out of bed. I don't really have that problem at home. I get out of bed, right? There are the odd days where I'm like, I'm having a day off, so I'm going to chill out. And this is about how we talk to ourselves and how we treat ourselves. Now, I think I treat myself fairly well. I do. I think I treat myself fairly well. And I thought that until I came here and slept on that bed. Oh, hello. <laughs> Coming in. Like, yes, look at the lady and the queen with like a bacon sandwich. Yes, the queen of the Oh, yes, look at that. Eddie, forget it, kid. Oh, yes, out. The babies are in the room as well. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to just show the baby? Oh, it's it's the same thing. Literally just got up. Oh, there you go. I'll let you do whatever. Oh, <laughs> okay. Can you see that this is this is Hello. what I think? <laughs> Hello. Hello. This is Vivian Joy. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking very joyful. Today. I'm sorry. Thank you, darling. So you can see that this is a real life puppy, right? Okay, right. We've got the puppy, we've got beer, everybody's got breakfast. So listen, but this, look, this is a thing. Breakfast. I don't normally eat breakfast like that. I have brunch. It's later on in the day. But this is early morning. Breakfast is, is served. I've had an amazing, incredible night's sleep. I didn't want to get out of bed. And I just said to myself, I think I need to buy myself a new bed. And it made me, the, the, the night's sleep that I had last night and the night before, made me recognise that actually, I'm not treating myself as well as I should, or as well as I could. I need a new bed. And that's next on the agenda. Why? Because if I have a good night's sleep, my mind is so clear in the morning. Yes, it, there might be an adjustment of getting up because it's so comfortable and it just like feels so good to be there. But at the end of the day, it is, it is the foundation of other things coming into fruition, other things um, working well, right? You know, it's little things. It's little adjustments that we have to make in order to treat ourselves, notice ourselves in a different way. So what I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, is standing in your power isn't about just, just being able to talk the talk. Standing in your power is about being able to walk the walk and treat yourself the way in which you truly deserve truly deserve so really i'm going to question you today because it is freedom friday it's freedom it's about being free it's about you know everything just just coming into alignment for you so what is it that you need to do for yourself what do you need to increase how how better can you treat yourself i don't even know if that's good english it doesn't really matter you get the gist of it how much better how much more better Hmm. How much <laughs> can you treat yourself this morning? What can you do to make your life better? What can you do to strengthen your power? Because we know that we are powerful. I'm teaching this. I'm teaching this. I've been teaching this from the beginning of this lockdown, this, this COVID, this non this pandemic. I've been teaching this till you understand that when you look in the mirror, you will identify with who you are as a powerful source. Your energy will raise, your vibrations will raise, and it will enable you to move on to the next level. It will enable you to produce the results that you need. It will enable you to be satisfied with who you are right here today today right so it's about that acceptance right now 
in this moment. And that is true freedom. When you can accept everything. So I accept, you know, I'm like, well, I actually, before I came here, I thought I'd treat myself pretty well. You know, I was doing things pretty well. I had a holiday and blah, blah, blah. But actually, sometimes you need to come out of your environment to see how you are connected to the source. Are you really, and I realize that in order for me to connect to the source in the more powerful way, I need a good night's sleep. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, one, I'm not one to, to be sleeping all hours of God says, no. Five, six hours a night, I'm good. But five, six hours in a real comfortable bed that holds you, supports you, hold, holds your whole body in your rest is really important. Now, this not, might not be your bag. It might be some other area of your life. But I'm saying this to you so that you know that it could be anything. And I'm saying this to you to show that we haven't all got it together. When you see people on these posts doing lives and um, they're doing all these exciting things, blah, blah, blah. They ain't got it together. None of us have, but we're on a journey. So I don't want you to like, oh, well, she's doing this. And it makes you feel less than who you are. No, 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 no. You don't come here for that. And if you're coming here for that, stop coming here. Don't come here. Because that's not what this is about. This is about your empowerment. This is about your journey and how you move to the next place, the next position, because your position is key in standing in your power. When you stand in your power, it's about the true acceptance of who you are, the true acceptance of, of where you are, the true acceptance of how you navigate yourself from this point forward. So I'm saying to you, yeah, life, life is all right. It's, you know, it could be better, like for everybody. We're all in the same storm. We're just traveling in different boats. But I recognize in order for me to go to a, a next level, I've got an itchy nose, another is it, it, it's not just about having the marketing in place. It's not just about, you know, posting and knowing about social media. And it's not just about getting the admin right. It's not just about getting the copyright. It's not just about getting, you know, all these things for this. It's not about that. It's about how you treat yourself. Because fundamentally, the, the common, as we talked about on Tuesday, the common denominator of your life is you. And everything starts with you. And I'm glad we're ending on that this morning because it's Freedom Friday. So set yourself free, shake yourself loose and live. Live knowing that you are the common denominator of your life and everything that happens starts and ends with you. You are your common denominator. You are your power source. You connect to the higher source. It is so this is probably one of the shortest freedom fridays ever but it is because i want you to really have a look at yourself you, you, we know what fridays are about about setting yourself free so i want you to look at yourself today go in the mirror and really sometimes you might not even need to go in the mirror like i didn't need to look in the mirror this morning actually i put, put my hair up in all sorts without a mirror you can probably tell but never mind, I think it looks fairly decent actually. But what I'm saying is what I recognized this morning, and that's why I'm talking about it, is my, my rest, my sleep is important. So what, what is it that you've taken for granted that's important that you need to kind of, what is it? What do you need to pay attention in order to free. This is Yvonne Michelle from YvonneMichelle.com. This is who I am. I'm here every weekday morning from 9 a.m. up until sometimes it goes on a bit. Sometimes I'm here till about 10. But this morning I'm out because why? I've got a journey to make. I've got things to do and I've got people to meet and I've got people to help. Yeah. And so this is it. So I want to thank you for joining me. I appreciate you all so much from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you. If this works well for you, please do send me 
a testimonial please do let me know how this helps please let me know if this if there's been anything significant in my talk and remember when i'm giving you an example it's about it's an example it's not about you i'm just giving you an example so what is it how can you treat yourself better in order for you to stand stronger firmer bolder in your power remember you are powerful this is your girl Yvonne michelle i'm out ciao i'll see you monday morning for manifestation monday oh yes we're going to start manifesting on monday so join me here on monday morning 9 a.m morning inspiration but for now ciao ciao